This video is just going over yeast and it's geared towards the Irish Leaving Cert. Yeast belongs to the fungi kingdom, therefore it's a fungus, it's eukaryotic and yeast is unicellular, made of one cell. So the first thing you have to cover is the basic structure of yeast and be able to draw a very simple diagram of a yeast cell. So we know that it's a fungus, so it's eukaryotic, so it does have a membrane bound nucleus, so a true nucleus. And we know that it would have those membrane bound organelles, but we're not going to draw them in on our diagram. But what makes a yeast part of the fungus family is the fact that it has that cell wall made of chitin. So make sure you draw that in first. So inside this we have the cell membrane and then the dense grainy cytoplasm that you associate with yeast cells. Yeast cells have these large vacuoles and these smaller structures for food storage, sometimes called food granules or storage granules and sometimes food vacuoles. So to help you in your exams, I would highly recommend you look at some photographs, real photographs of what yeast cells look like under a microscope, because you never know you might be presented with one of those in your paper. But be able to recognise dense grainy cytoplasm, the cell wall, the large vacuole, the cell membrane and those food granules or food vacuoles. So next we have to discuss reproduction in yeast. They reproduce asexually, so there is one parent involved and no gametes. And this is known as budding, so make sure you know that asexual reproduction in yeast is called budding. So the first thing that happens in budding is this extension or this swelling known as a bud starts to form on the yeast cell. And then the nucleus of the yeast cell undergoes mitosis. At the end of mitosis, a daughter nucleus moves into the bud and this will either nip off into its own separate yeast cell, as is shown in this diagram. And remember, these are two separate yeast cells, but they're genetically identical because they were formed by mitosis. So sometimes, though, the cytoplasm doesn't separate and you get this structure known as a colony. And a colony forms when the bud, its nucleus, undergoes mitosis and the process of budding continues. So that was yeast. Make sure you can draw and label a diagram of a yeast cell and recognise photographs, really important. And make sure you can give an account of budding using diagrams. So check that out in your book. At this stage in the year, you should be doing lots of past papers and checking the answers with the marking schemes, the official marking schemes. I'd say that's the best way of bringing up your grades. Best of luck.